Step out, step in. That's a weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello, this is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out, Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor share and comment hope to see you on monday at 6 p.m eastern standard time hello 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 good evening ladies and gentlemen or good morning good afternoon good um <laughs> so can i say good night <laughs> depending on where you're watching from where you tuned in tonight i uh Again, thank you for uh, tuning into episode 15. Can you believe that? Episode 15 of my weekly Step Out, Step In podcast. Every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be hosting a live Step Out, Step In podcast on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And, um, and I also want to say, if you have subscribed to my YouTube page, I say a big thank you. <laughs> If you haven't yet um, done so, if you haven't yet subscribed, I want to um, request that. Please do, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Um, once you've done so, any anything I post, you'll be notified of it. And um, again, follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and um, and you can also support my podcast by clicking on the link buy me a coffee there's a link in there um, when you look down in there there's a link that says buy me a coffee again um welcome 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 to episode 15 and thank you for tuning in one more favor can you just share with at least one person and let's do this together <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. And um, my name is David Joe, and I'm a pastor, I'm a person of faith, an author, a husband, a father to my wonderful biological and spiritual children, and I'm your friend. Please check out the previous episodes on my YouTube page. And the YouTube page is under David Joe. Episode 15, and in this episode, I want to talk about change your world with your words. <laughs> change your world with your words. You know, words are so powerful. Words have so much power. Just as words have power, you also have the power to change your life, to change your world and your situation by the power of your words, by your confessions. And you can frame your world with your words. You know, somebody once said that, and I quote, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. Let me say that again, he who says he can and he who says he can't are both right 
or are both usually right. End of quote. You know, one may ask, so how do you take captive of the words that tries to tries or attempt to defeat you? And I am so glad you asked this question. And I'm glad you want to know. And also, first of faith. I would say that you can do this by commanding your day, your life, with the confession of God's word. You know, there are several lies that, <laughs> should I say, should I say the devil tries to tell you about your life and your future? About your today and tomorrow? Of course, he is our number one enemy. He lies to, to you and I about your situation, your life. And he tells you that your life is not going to change or your situation is not going to change. You, you're always going to be in the same situation. You know, sometimes, sometimes we also lie to ourselves. You lie to yourself that things are not going to change for you. You lie to yourself that it's not going to be, it's, it's, it's going to be just like the past. And I keep telling people that don't allow your past to play a role in your present and your future. You don't have to believe the lies that the future is unknown and you will never know what the future holds for you, you know. Yes, the future is unknown, but we know somebody. We know someone. We know a God who holds the future. And once we believe in him, at least our future is, is certain. You don't have, and sometimes he lie to you that you don't have any power or control over your future. And these are all lies. <laughs> these are all lies. I said, uh, as a believer of Christ and as a person of faith, even though you don't know what tomorrow holds, I said it earlier on, you know who holds tomorrow. We have a God who knows tomorrow. In fact, the Bible tells us that he declares the ending from the beginning. Before the beginning began, he had already begun. He knows what will happen tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, I mean, next, next week, next month, next year. He knows everything. And if you believe in that God, you, you, you are set. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you know, and, and everything about your life is about to change because God has given you power over your today and your tomorrow. God has given you power over your today and your tomorrow. You know, and, um, and you, you know, sometimes, 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 let me put it this way. Sometimes you feel your future is going to look like your past through the thoughts that keeps, you, that keeps flooding your mind. I remember in episode 10, I talked about your thought pattern. And if you haven't listened to it, please go back and uh, um, uh, listen to it. It's, it's on my YouTube page. And, and comment and share. Please listen to it, comment and share. And if you can share the link um, by now, I'll be so glad. Yeah. And, and one thing is the problem is you and I sometimes agree to the lies of the devil and our own lies, your own lies, my own lies. You know, we don't, we don't, you know, let me say this. Yes, we don't always have to blame the devil for everything. Sometimes we have to take the blame. You know, when he tells you it's never going to be better for you, you also affirm it. And by your confessions and by what you say, you are affirming what? you're hearing or you, you think it is. If he tells you you never be in that relationship you want, you affirm it. When he tells you you never be married or have children, yes, we affirm that. We believe those lies. And, but in the moment we confess it, we say it, we are affirming it. 
you never have the money to pay your rent or your bills. You never be rich, and we affirm all these. <laughs> you know what the devil is doing is he is presenting these thoughts to you, and you are either consciously or unconsciously accepting them by storing them in your mind. And, and, and the moment you do that, you allow these negative words to hold you captive because you don't know how to talk to them using God's word. You know, uh, let me let's see here. Let me check if it's okay. All right. Let's see who's on Facebook. All right, so please share share the link and let's let's proceed. You know, and and we have to get to the place of learning to speak to our situation using the word of God. The word of God is 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 potent, it's been tried, it's been tested. And it is, it is very powerful, you know. Now, you and I will have to, um, we have to learn how to command, um, um, our, uh, how to command our morning, how to command our day, how to command our evening, how to command your body, your health, your finances, your business, your career, your ministry, your marriage. You know, we have to learn to do that using God's word, using the word of God. I said I'm a person of faith. You know, it is, it is time you and I take that life back. It is time we take back everything that has been stolen from us by the devil. Let me put it that way. <laughs> it is time to take back everything you and I have allowed ourselves to be stolen from us. And it begins with your words. And as a person of faith, let me quote a few scriptures. <laughs> let me let me quote these scriptures. In Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29, and from the um, ICB version, the International Children's Bible, it says that when you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need. Words that will help others become stronger then what you say will help those who listen to you. It says, when you talk, do not say harmful things. Other versions say that uh, do not use any corrupt communication. Other, other versions say that or holes of words. But what you speak should be able to build the, the hearer up. And more often than not, we hear ourselves more than anyone hears us. So sometimes your words should also encourage you. Sometimes you have to be your own cheerleader. <laughs> you know, it says that then what you say will help those who listen to you. So now let's talk about today. You know, today matters a lot in, in our lives, in our personal lives. In, in Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 4 and verse 18, when Jesus read his inaugural manifesto of his ministry, he said, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me and he has anointed me to preach. You know, he went on and said that he quoted from Isaiah 61, the first three verses. And after he was done in verse 21 of Luke chapter 4, he said that, and he began to say to them, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. He said, today, this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. So, so often you and I, we, we are thinking about the future, but we can take control over, over it today. Let me let me go to another scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 14 to um, 16 from the New King James Version. It says that, 
For the word is very near you, <laughs> in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. It says the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart. It says, see, I have said before you today life and good, death and and evil. Now you realize that in this in this scripture, you know, the Bible is saying that God is saying to us that He has said before us life and good. Yeah. Death and evil. In it, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in His ways and keep His commandments, His statutes, and His judgment, that you may live and multiply. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land which you go to possess. And when we jump down to the verse 19, let's, let's jump down to verse 19. When we jump down to the verse 19, it says that, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you, that I said before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now you realize that he, he said again that I said before you life. He brings life in here first. Life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. You say, well, God makes a recommendation. Then he tells us to choose the first, to choose life. Now he goes further to say that, that both you and your descendants may live. That you may love the Lord your God that you may obey his voice and that you may clench to him for he is your life. Now listen to this. He is your life and the length of your days and that you may dwell in the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to give them. Now when we look at this context, when we look at this scripture, he started off by saying that but the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart. And the Bible also tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. <laughs> so what is within your heart is what comes out through your mouth. Now let's jump to another scripture in Hebrews 11 and verse 3. It says, by faith we understand that the world, the worlds were formed, the word framed, I'm sorry, the worlds were framed, the word framed is built, created, consecrated, and put in appropriate place by the word of God, so that all things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. If you have anything out of place, your right words, your confessions can put it back in place. You know, God has given all of us the same power to construct our lives with the words we speak to frame our world with our words. You know, I often tell people that the words you speak is just like going to a restaurant. And um, once you get seated and your server brings you the menu and you, you pick anything from the menu, except the server makes a mistake, whatever you pick is what is presented to you. Or what is the, whatever you pick is what is delivered to you. So, words don't know whether you're joking <laughs> or whether you're serious. The moment you speak it out, it goes. And that can frame your world based on what you speak. Guess what? If you speak the negative words, you get negative returns. <laughs> if you speak the positive words, it, 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 it works out for you. Yeah. And, and there's, there's another scripture I want us to look at, and that is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11 from the uh, International, the ICB, the International Children's Bible. It says that the words I say, it says the words I say do the same thing. They will not return to me empty. That means that every word you speak has the ability to make or make, has the ability to break or 
or uh, uh, has the ability to destroy you or make you. It says that they will not return to me empty. They make the things happen that I want to happen. They succeed in doing what I send them out to do. So I always tell people that be mindful of the words you speak or the words that comes out of your mouth. You know, the, the Ephesians 4, 29 in the New King James Version says, that do not let any corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. You know, anything that you speak has the ability to impact you either positively, negatively, depending on the, the, the nature of the words you speak. I know sometimes we play with words, but looking at this, the scripture, it tells me that any word that proceeds out of my mouth will never go and come back empty. It has to accomplish. So guess what? If you speak the negative, it comes back to you. It brings back the negative returns to you. That is why God said that choose life. He gave us the, it says choose life. The words we speak. It says that, but, but the word is very near to you in your mouth and in your heart that you may do it. <laughs> you know, yeah. thank you, um, my brother, Kweku Kisi, the son of hope. Um, thank you, thank you so much for tuning in. It says, this is good. Thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> All right. So let's, let's, let's proceed. So I tell people that be, be mindful and be conscious of the words we speak. Proverbs 11, I'm sorry, Proverbs 18 and 21 tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat of its fruit. Since death and life lies in the power of the tongue. The tongue is one of the smallest um, organs, but it is, it is one of the most powerful. Because what you speak is what can make you or unmake you. It says that those who love it, so if you like death, and as you speak death all the time, guess what you get? <laughs> but if you like life and you speak life into your life, you get life. <laughs> so God wants to forewarn how your words can produce negativity and death or how your words can produce life. Over the weekend, last Sunday, we were looking at um, Numbers 13, where Moses sent out the 12 tribes to go spy the promised land. They had to go scout. They came back. 12, they all saw the same thing. But 10 came with a negative report. And the negative report they came with, when you read Numbers 14, 1, it says that the congregation of Israel wept all night. And do you know that because of that negative report they came back with, none of the ten got to the promised land. None of them. God had to delay their, 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 their entrance into the promised land. And God said, those that are 20 and above will not get into the, those that despise God, except uh, Joshua and Caleb, those that despise God and despise uh, Moses and um, Aaron, none of them got to the promise. That is what negative words can do. You can produce life by speaking the right things. And you can speak life by speaking the positive things. It doesn't matter what, what the situation is. Yes, in Numbers 13, they saw the same thing. Yes, it was true. They had the 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 the, the sons of Anak, the giants were there, the um, the the, uh, the enemies were there. But what they did differently was they saw themselves as grasshoppers. They perceived themselves to be different because they they saw, even though they saw the right thing, they had they brought back evidence from the land that yes, this is a land that God says that we should go possess. It is flowing with milk and honey. They brought grapes, they brought pomegranates, they brought um, figs. But then they said, We were just like we were like grasshoppers. Their confessions stopped them. 
So step out and step in and change your world with your words. You can do it. You can do it by also confessing God's word. <laughs> you know, God's word is so quick. It is so powerful. It is so sharp. Or so sharp. Let me put it this way. That it has the ability to change every situation of yours. Yes, your bank account might be in a coma. But it doesn't mean you're poor. It's just a temporary... Uh, uh, um, how should I say? <laughs> uh, um, is is you you just in you're just experiencing um, a, a, a temporary shortage of funds? But the moment you confess, oh, I'm poor, I don't have it. Guess what? You never have it, and you're going to remain what you say. Because the words you speak, it doesn't go and come back empty. It accomplishes what you what you set it out for and to do. So let's change our world with our words, and most especially conversing the word of God. All right, so remember one thing, that the world needs your unique gifts, talents, and abilities. Don't leave this world with the gifts still unwrapped inside you. And again, thank you for watching, um, or for tuning into this live podcast. Um, watch the space, and I will be back in a moment. Step out, step in. This is a weekly podcast to encourage, motivate, inspire you to step out of your comfort zone, to step in to what you have been designed for and to do. Hello. This is David Joe. Please join me this and every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Step Out Step In podcast, live on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page, like, and follow me on Facebook and LinkedIn. One more favor, share and comment. Hope to see you on Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, thank you once again for tuning in. And just as I rightly said, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Share the link, comment, and let's know. And also click on the Buy Me a Coffee link so um, you can support me on this podcast page so we can I can improve it. Let me put it that way. Um, but just before I sign off, um, I said I, I wrote this book in 2020. Um, if you haven't yet gotten a copy, it's on Amazon, just $5.99. You can support this. If you buy, you can purchase one for a friend, a loved one, a friend of me. <laughs> you never know. Um, you know, the, the backdrop of this book is to help um, step out of your comfort zone. You know, staying in your comfort zone is so, it's, it's so amazing, but it takes you nowhere. And, and, uh, to help you to step out of your comfort zone to there's so much deposited on the inside of you there's so much that god has deposited on the inside of you and we don't want it to go waste this year let's step out break out of every shell break out of every uh, confinement and let's step out to what god has called you to and step into your uniqueness and um yeah so let's do that and if you are Within the Stafford, um, Fredericksburg, Chronicle, Dumfries area, I want to personally invite you um, to to be my special guest on on Sundays, this Sunday and every Sunday at two p.m. The current address where we meet is one four four nine Courthouse Road, Stafford, Virginia. If you're looking for a family oriented Bible believing church, we want to welcome you. I can I can wait to you. Um, meet you and, and fellowship with you and please when you're coming remember don't come alone <laughs> don't come alone and let me also introduce my spiritual father dr frank ofusopia every tuesday on youtube facebook the ambassador of hope um 
please tune in. And also, if you haven't subscribed to his page, I would want to encourage you to subscribe. Um, he's live with, live with Ambassador of Hope on Tuesdays on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, these teachings are life-changing and destiny-shaping teachings. I know that these are teachings that people pay thousands of dollars to go listen to. And here we are, he's giving it to us for free. So please tune in. It will help you in your spiritual or personal life and, and your career, your business, your education, and many more. And again, subscribe to the YouTube page, his YouTube page. Um, I believe the YouTube page is an Ambassador of Hope. And um, Facebook is Franco Fusopia, the official. Um, ah, <laughs> yeah. So please tune in every Tuesday at 6 p.m. on YouTube and Facebook. And again, thank you, thank you for tuning in to my live uh, Step Out, Step In podcast. <laughs> and um, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's connect every Monday at 6 p.m. Same place, you know, and let's watch this space. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, like, share, comment, and support by buying me a coffee. <laughs> and until we meet again the same time next week, I say have a wonderful, amazing, fruitful, productive week. And again, this is David Joe. I love you and there's nothing you can do. Goodbye.